गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन टूडे वी विल डू एट्थ लेसन ऑफ योर लिटरेचर बुक द स्पाइडर एंड द फ्लाई दिस इज अ फेबल एज यू कैन सी दिस इज अ पोएम बट अ फेबल डू यू नो चिल्ड्रेन वॉट इज अ फेबल अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी विथ अ मोरल लेसन इज कॉल्ड अ फेबल ओके इट कैन बी इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ प्रोज or it can be in a form of poem also this is a poem the spider and the fly here spider is presented as predator and fly is presented as prey this poem has been written by mary howitt okay before reading this poem we will do some questions you have to answer it you can answer by writing in a comment box look up the meaning of the word flatter in a dictionary children do you know what is the meaning of flat flatter do you know that flatter means fake praise means you don't mean the word what you are saying in praising others fake praise jhoothi prashansa that is called flatter have you ever flattered anyone why did you do that what was its effect on the listener you have to give the answer of this question children but in my opinion we all have flattered to our parents for some toys dresses to do something as we want and what was its effect the listener always feels good third number is imagine that you have two friends one keeps on praising you endlessly always praising you always tells good thing about you that you are intelligent beautiful and clever but the other friend often points out your mistakes and ask you to improve which of the two friends would you like or trust more and why children this answer also you have to give through comment box and i know that the second answer should be right but the reality is other than the answer why children because in reality you know that we will like that one that friend who keeps on praising us endlessly not that one who points out our mistakes okay but you can give your opinion through comment box okay let's start the poem now here is a poem the spider wants to flatter a fly to entrap the fly will you walk into my parlor said the spider to the fly it is the prettiest little parlor that ever you did spy The way into my parlor is up a winding stair and I have many pretty things to show when you are there. Oh no no said the little fly to ask me in is vain for who goes up your winding stair can never come down again. This is the first stanza children you can see that spider is calling the fly and inviting the fly to his parlor parlor means the web spider's house here spider's house a uh, house is being compared with parlor it means metaphor is in this line and he is trying to attract the fly by saying that you can come into my parlor through a winding stair there is a winding stair there through which you can come here but the fly is 
quite wise she is saying no no here you can see children that no no is coming two times why to emphasize to emphasize the sentence we can repeat one word again and again you can see again here will you rest upon my bed i am sure you must be weary dear with soaring up so high when the fly refuses to come into the parlor he changes his tactic spider and then spider says that i am sure you must be weary means you must be tired by going up so high will you rest upon my little bed come and rest upon my little bed he is asking will you rest upon my little bed said the spider to the fly there are pretty curtains drawn around there are beautiful curtains the sheets are fine and thin and sheets are also fine and if you like to rest a while i'll snugly tuck you in if you want to rest i will invite you i will welcome you oh no no said the little fly for i have often heard it said they never never wake again who sleep upon your bed then again the fly is refusing here by saying that i know that those who slept on your bed can never wake again that why i won't come there again in third stanza the cunning spider said said the cunning spider to the fly dear friend what shall i do to prove the warm affection i have always felt for you i have within my pantry a good store of all that's nice i'm sure you are very welcome will you please to take a slice oh no no said the little fly kind sir that cannot be i have heard what's in your pantry and i do not wish to see again the spider told the fly that please come to my pantry now he is comparing his web with pantry first of all he was comparing that house means that web with parlor then a little bed and then a pantry very good now again the fly refuses that no no sir i know what is in your pantry so i don't want to see it now children what happened sweet creature said the spider you are witty and you are wise how handsome are your gauzy wings how brilliant are your eyes now what he did he started praising the fly he started flattering you can see here the poem is not so visible but i am trying to read it look little looking glass upon my parlor self step in one moment dear you shall behold yourself thank you gentle sir she said for what you are pleased to say you good morning i am bidding good morning now i'll call another day okay now what happened the spider is praising started praising the fly by saying that you are so beautiful and your gauzy wings are very handsome your eyes are so brilliant you can come on my parlor and see yourself in the looking glass how beautiful you are you shall behold yourself then after saying all that the spider turned round about and went into his den why why he went into his den because he know he 
here knew that the fly would definitely come for well he knew the silly fly would soon be back again then what he did he wove a subtle web in a little corner sly subtle web means that type of web from where no one can go out and set his table ready to dine upon the fly not dine with the fly dine upon the fly means he wanted to eat the fly not he wanted to eat with the fly then he came out to his door again and merrily did sing and after doing all these arrangements what he did he came out to his door and happily he started singing come hither hither pretty fly with the pearl and silver wing your robes are green and robes means dress your robes are green and purple there's a crest upon your head crest means crown your eyes are like the diamond bright but mine are dull as lead he is self depreciating himself children just to attract the fly by praising the fly and self depreciating मीन्स अपनी बुराई खुद कर रहा है और उसकी प्रशंसा कर रहा है अलास अलास हाउ वेरी सून दिस सिली लिटिल फ्लाय हियरिंग हिज विली फ्लैटरिंग वर्ड्स केम स्लोली फिटिंग फ्लिटिंग बाय विथ बजिंग विंग्स शी हंग अलॉफ्ट द नियर एंड नियर अ ड्रू थिंकिंग ओनली ऑफ अ ब्रिलियंट आईज एंड ग्रीन एंड पर्पल ह्यू thinking only of her crested head poor foolish thing at last up jumped and the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast he dragged her up his winding stair into his dismal den what happened children now he cannot hold these flattering words means the fly Uh, get trapped in these flattering words of spider and the fly came to the came near to the spider then what happened the spider dragged her up his winding stair usne kheech liya use within his little parlor within his web but she never came out again but from this parlor she never came out again because he killed the fly and now dear little children who may this story read to idle silly flattering words i pray you never give heed now the poetess is saying that children if you are reading this story i am saying you i pray you never give attention to the idle silly flattering words unto an evil counselor close heart and ear and eye and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly and she is saying that take the lesson learn something from this story of the spider and the fly and don't give attention ever to silly flattering words always try to recognize between flattering words and real words okay children this was the poem we will do exercise in our next video hope you like this poem and understood it if you like it like my channel subscribe it comment on it share it with your friends and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you